when you went back and looked at the film of, of the scrimmage, what did you see? Was it, Were some things better than what you thought? Yeah, I, the number one thing I saw was great effort uh, offensively and defensively, especially defense. I saw multiple hats around the football, which was good to see. Now, we didn't play our technique right every time, which, you know, that's going to happen in first scrimmage and only nine practices down. But I, th I saw guys flying around to the football. Uh, offensively, I thought the line of scrimmage played pretty well. You know, Paul Thurston had a string of about 10 plays. We had 10 minuses in a row. Other than that, he, he played pretty well. Kobe Meeks did a nice job. Nick Counter had a nice job. Trey Moxley, uh, Jake Bennett probably played as best as he ever has. Uh, you know, so that was good to see. You know, receivers, some of them made some plays I talked about after the uh, after the scrimmage. You know, but offensively, the one thing, I didn't think we were playing fast enough. We never got in the rhythm. And... When you, you, your tempo speeds up, that helps you get in the rhythm. If you're not really clicking, you know, a tempo can help you get in the rhythm and probably, you know, still a first down every now and then, which will, you know, get the defense on its heels when you get one first down. Uh, you know, so I thought that, that, that needed to be corrected. Defensively, we bust some coverages, uh, you know, with the guys just rotating the wrong way. And it didn't, didn't hurt us in the scrimmage, but those are things that can result in big plays when we got nobody in the high hole or we don't, you know, we're not covering number two and, uh, a certain coverage, you know, we had to get those things fixed. I got to look at the film, but one thing from practice today, offensively did a much better job with tempo, playing with tempo, playing with rhythm. Uh, the results, I thought they had a better day until the end in one minute where defense won both the drills today, which was which was good to see because that, that was the first win they've had. It was our third one minute, and offense hadn't been stopped yet. Defense won today, won both of them in the ones and twos. At one point during when we talked to you after the scrimmage, you were talking about one of the quarterbacks and said you need to go back to the film and see what he saw. Who was he? Uh, Rick, Rick, it was, you know, it was, I don't know if I phrased it right. Yeah. I don't know if I was meeting one. You know, there were some errors, you know, right. You know, it's easy when, you know, I kind of got an understanding of where I think the ball is supposed to go. But then, you know, you watch it, you watch it at, on the film, you know, you can see it. And then you got, still got to talk to him because, the camera way up high is a little bit different than the vision that a quarterback has. But it was really all of them. Uh, when I was talking about, I might have said he, you know, uh, you know, why did we go here versus this coverage? And uh, you know, it wasn't what I wanted to hear. Uh, to be honest, you know, you got rules and you, know, you knew it with this coverage, this is where the ball should go, either here or here. And, you know, and it's, it's overthinking, thinking too much. And, uh, you know, we got to just play. But, you know, we had a better day today, uh, I thought, still through. Couple of interceptions and threw a couple up for grabs that, that were good. Uh, and that's, we can't have that. You talked some the other day about just kind of trying to balance the idea that understanding that Nick's got a year of experience and the other two don't, and yep. that you have to weigh that into your factor. How, how hard is that to kind of balance into deciding who's going to be your starting quarterback on September 2nd? It's extreme, you know, it's extremely hard, you know, it's judging, you know, any guy, but that's why we practice. And, you know, just because somebody's here right now, maybe here and a guy's here, what's going to happen when he continues to get reps? Is he going to be better than that guy? You know, that's the challenge of the guy here. He's got to keep getting – he's got to keep better because there's a lot that Nick can improve on. And, you know, I'll say one thing. Uh, Nick Stevens has, from from day one, uh, and we were bringing guys in in Christmas while we were doing bowl practice to uh, Fatone uh, coming to school here in the spring, Colin Hill coming here, had not batted an eye. He's been a great, great competitor. He's been a great teammate. Uh, he helps those guys, and he, and he works his tail off, and he has improved. Uh, you know, so really proud of Nick and the way he's playing, and he's, you know, he's, play, he's played his butt off that, you know, hey, I want to be the starting quarterback.